Hey, what's up guys? I'm doing a Venom Stun deck profile. Uh, this, this deck is actually very, very, quite fun. It's very, very annoying as well, so... Yeah. So, three Venom Serpent. Um, his effect and Snake's effect is basically the same, or it adds a Venom counter to your Punch Monster. The only difference is that Venom Serpent can attack the same turn. Venom Snake cannot, so... Yeah, that's the only difference. And then... Three Cobra. Just very, very quite good. And then... Three Foster Diamond for stun. So, so yeah. Um, the only Venom that I do not run is... Venom Boa, which I don't really care for in this build. Not like what I used to. Um, it just clogs your hand so much that it's like... I'd rather just cut it and run it in the pendulum build. So, yeah. And then, three or two effect bearer just for help countering, countering effects, stuff like that. So, yeah. Now for, um, suppose three Venom Swamp. Just very, very quite good. Um, basically, during your player's end phase, like both players' end phase, uh, any non- Venom monsters get counter, and then once the attack goes down to zero, uh, the monster is destroyed, and the attack goes down by 500 each for each counter. So, yeah, if the attack is already at zero, it does nothing except for add Venom counter. So, yeah, three MST just help get rid of back row stuff like that. Uh, two two Moon Mirror Shield. Uh, this card's amazing in here. Using a cobit to like a um, foster diamond or like a um, cobra or like a snake or serpent, and just be able to get over punch monster. Uh, really, really quite easy. So yeah. And then two Pajati for con uh, cons uh, consistency in the deck, and then one Buck Moon, and then one Galaxy Ch Galaxy Ch uh, Galaxy Cyclone. Can't talk today, <laughs> apparently, but um, very, very good as well. So, basically, like a fourth MST for the deck. So, yeah, and then for the traps, three offering to a snake ID. Um, very, very good. You trigger a reptile monster, and then you destroy two cards on the field. So, it's basically, a uh, Icarus attack. So, which is also very, very card good. Um, Three Venom Burn. Um, I love this card to pieces. It's slow and it's kind of hard to get off, but if you can do it just right, it works really, really quite well. Basically, what this card does is that it burns your opponent 700 points of damage for each Venom counter on your opponent's monster. Um, and so, if you, you can rack up damage just from uh, Snake and Serpent, um, and then just stall, and then. Um, also the next card helps as well, which is two ambush fang. Um, basically it negates the attack and then adds a venom, a venom counter to your punch monster. Um, so that helps with racking up, uh, counters and then you can flip this and then you're burn for game or burn pretty close for game. So, yeah. And then three starting mirror force and two blazing. Um... These mirror forces are amazing as well. Uh, blazing, not so much, but it's still very, very quite good. Um, so, yeah, against rogue, rogue decks, anyway. And then one Trenchal Tribute. Um, and then also Storming Mirror Force is also very, very quite good as well. Um, against Dragonese and stuff like that, so, yeah. So, yeah, that's pretty it for the deck profile. Thank you all for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And yeah, I'll cut her. Alright, there you guys.